Kaikoura is a beautiful coastal town on the east coast of New Zealand South Island. It's well known for its amazing sea life. I'm a big sea person. I just love the beaches, the sea, its marine life, whales, octopus, dolphins, turtles. They just amaze me and I feel very connected to them, like Aquaman. Kaikoura is one of those places that gets visited a lot by whales, especially the sperm whales. They come from Antarctica because there's plenty of food. We had never seen a whale and we really wanted to. We were so disappointed to find out that we couldn't take infants on boats for whale watching. But Nini found this tour operator that allowed infants, so we jumped on that. We booked our tickets with the tour operator and it was our first time on a chartered flight. Yes, it was expensive, but these are the things that Nini and I mutually agreed to splurge on. The operator gave us a quick briefing and we boarded the plane. Okay. okay. Uh, you can sit in the middle row if you want and you can sit in the back and it will give you more room with your cameras. Yeah, I think that'll work. Yep. Yeah. So if you want to sit on that middle right hand seat there, please. Yeah. The pilot was in constant communication with the boat below. They were also looking for whales. The boat had a sonar device to find whales. The flight was supposed to be just 30 minutes, but we couldn't spot any whales. We all kept looking and the boat below was also searching. After a very long search and even after extending the flight to almost an hour, the pilot prepared us for disappointment and finally gave up. But he wanted to give us something to remember. So he spotted some dolphins playing and took us there. This reminded me of something that happened several years ago. Nini and I, we were in, a, in an aquarium in Langkawi in Malaysia. Um, it, it was a very large one. There was an octopus that didn't move at all. Even the staff didn't know why. So I went close to the glass and said in my head, Hey buddy, could you please move? And, and it moved. I, I know it's just a coincidence, but I was really happy. And I was doing exactly the same thing in the flight. Constantly in my head saying that, Buddy, please come up. Please come up. Then it happened. While we were returning, our pilot got a message from the captain of the boat about spotting a whale. And our pilot quickly took a U-turn and headed to the spot. It was just so beautiful and huge. As big as a large submarine. It was one of the best experiences in my life. And oh, I, I do not want the beautiful landscape we've witnessed to be lost in this narration. The flight journey over the Southern Alps in itself was a sight to see. Whaling was something that happened during the 1840s by the early European settlers. 
This place was the first whaling station in Kaikoura. Strangely, the oldest part of the structure was built with whale bones. After a very eventful day, our tummies were grumbling. So we caravaned our way to one of the most recommended places that served the best fish and chips in Kaikoura. Okay, famous cod and crayfish. That seems like a lot. And that is a lot. Power patty. Patty. Power patty. Blue cod fish. Fish and chips. And lovely fries. Mmm. This fish is really good. Yeah? Oh, it's like a tick mark. It is the correct fish. <laughs> really nice. I really like it. Yeah. Okay, power patty. Yeah? Oh, uh, very nice. Oh, the thing. <laughs> very Just nice. The yeah? Very nice. Okay. Can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Mmm. <laughs> Mmm! Very nice, right? Mmm! <laughs> if you look at the evolution of New Zealand, it was literally created due to volcanic activities. New Zealand is home to some of the most active volcanoes in the world. Kaikoura recently had a massive earthquake, which is quite frequent in New Zealand. But strolling through Kaikoura, we didn't see any aftermath of the earthquake. The town was so well kept. The town was small and easy to walk around. There were a couple of good restaurants and cafes. But Nini's eyes got hooked on a cafe named Why Not Cafe. And we said to each other, It's almost evening, so why not? <laughs> That's just too good. Yeah? Really good. <laughs> Very nice. It's salmon, yeah. cheese, and uh, yeah, a bit bread. It's really tasty. Too good. I loved it. Try this out. We try it. It's very hot. Very nice. <laughs> so, how's your man? Like, whoa, 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 the best milk. So I saw this cake in one more place. That's why I picked this cake. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's more like a candy. Candy. Lolly cake. Lolly cake. Yeah. And slightly coconut also. Yeah. So it's not a cake. This was the first time I saw a beach with just black pebbles and black sand. Kaikoura beach was right in the town and absolutely beautiful. Very peaceful. During this trip, Mumu was just 7 months old. And this is where he touched the sea for the very first time. Once we had taken him to a beach uh, near my hometown in Kerala and he was strapped onto me. He saw the beach looked at me and he gave me a beautiful smile. It was like he had seen the beach before and was dying to go back. <laughs> this boy absolutely loved the sound of water and the feeling of chilly wind on his face. And when both comes together, he is at peace and he sleeps. Oh. Oh. My God. What is that? This is half of what we actually see with our eyes, but still better. My goodness. This is the best sky I've ever seen in my whole life. I never knew sky can look like this. Kai means to eat and Kora means crayfish. So Kai Kora means to eat crayfish. And that's exactly what we did the next day before we went on a hike. Half of this for $60. Oh, look at that. It's with rice and salad and garlic. <laughs> <laughs> Little heavy lunch, don't you think so? <laughs> Oh, look at that. It tastes like lobster, but a bit more meatier, very fresh. Is it, they say they're cooking it only in butter and garlic, that's it. There is no other spices. Now, this is an another unique thing about Kai Kora. There is a hike called a peninsula hike. It starts from Fifi Ki all the way till the South Bay. It's a very long hike. Along the way, there is a seal colony. Yes, seal colony. It's not a zoo. It's an actual colony where seals live freely. Now, we, don't, we did not take the marked hike. Instead, we walked along the coastal line to meet the seals. Dancing together on dozens of them. <laughs> when we reached the colony, there was a seal right on the pathway. And when I tried crossing it, it started growling. I just got scared and came back. Then Nini slowly crossed and showed me the way. I almost shat in my pants. What do you want me to do? Yeah.
find right yeah. taking this road yeah. yeah through the beach could we didn't take the upper route yeah we couldn't have gotten this close up Close shots the with seals, seals. Yeah. oh my god this is a beautiful experience <laughs> now we could have hiked all the way to south bay but it was a long hike so we went back to the starting point and drove to the south bay instead on the way we stopped at the pier hotel It's a nice, creamy, with a lot of seafood and some vegetables and very nice. It's just comforting. By the time we reached South Bay, it was sunset and it was so beautiful. All the fishermen were winding up their day and were heading back home and so were we And that's our adventure in Kaikoura. After Kaikoura, we headed to Queenstown. Once that video is ready, you can check out that video right here. Which place is this? Kare Kaka Road. Nana, he knows. 